Qualcomm will beat M2 chips, says CEO. CEO Cristiano Amon told CNET that the company now believed it could beat Apple in the PC market too. We're aiming to have performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period, Amon's <laughs> Sorry We're aiming to have performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period, Amon said in an interview last week. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you know why we pulled you over today? Exactly. It's because you're not subscribed. So you better fix that right now. Or we're gonna have to take you in. Just for some uh, comic relief, I feel like it's time. <laughs> I feel like it's time to talk about Qualcomm. Saying that they will beat the M2 chi uh, chips. Claims from the CE flipping O, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with the help of former Apple engineers. Now, let me let me just respond to that immediately. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just begin. Um, let's say this is true. Right? Maybe it is true. I don't know. I'm just saying. Let's say this is true. Um, first of all, this is not just, the the chip on its own can't do shit. <laughs> okay, if the software is not supported, if the device that's in it is not built for it, uh, for example, like the, these 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 uh, uh, Surface Axis that has been coming out from Microsoft, uh, which <laughs> um, also have a Qualcomm chip in them, uh, and I just I I uh, yeah. I I can't say a lot about it. Maybe I can I can pull it up here, but I feel like I won't be able to because like it's just I don't know. It's just a bunch of bullshit. But um, I to just to just um no I can't. Anyways, uh, to just start with like the whole uh, 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 situation, like if they can pull it off to get the chip as fast as an M2 or maybe even beat it. If you don't have the software to do anything with it, it won't work. So I'm just saying that for the most part, a lot of people need to embrace it. Microsoft has to embrace ARM way better than they have been doing. I know Microsoft uh, started with the whole ARM uh, operating system uh, uh, situation way before uh, Apple did with macOS at least. Um, well, at least m maybe internally not, but uh, like in the public. Um, but the support for from Microsoft is abysmal. It's crazy. It doesn't make sense. And to just say, well, our chips are going to be uh, uh, beating Apple, that's great. But who is going to buy it if the software that runs on it doesn't fit with the speed that your chip can uh, uh, can uh, achieve, right? So I don't believe that they can do this. And I definitely don't believe that they can do this in a timeline that is going to make sense uh, for people. Because like, whenever they have their competitor for M2 on the market, Apple will already be releasing their M3 um, and, 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 and so on and so forth. And on, uh, on, on top of that, Apple already has their entire ecosystem. They built their own chips, they built their own hardware that's around the chips, and they built the software that is going to run on top of the chips. So. Just being able to manage to, to to get to the speed doesn't make any sense. It's it's not something that to me is going to make me want to switch to anything. It doesn't it doesn't make sense. But anyways, let's just let's just keep it going. And um let's talk about Qualcomm. Qualcomm will beat M2 chips, claims CEO, with the help of former Apple engineers. Qualcomm will beat M2 chips in the laptop and desktop PC sector, claims the company's CEO, thanks to expertise from three former Apple Silicon engineers. It's a claim we've heard before, of course, from both Qualcomm and Intel in relation to the M1 chip. Background 
When it became clear just how revolutionary Apple's M1 chip was in terms of both performance and power efficiency, both Qualcomm and Intel were undoubtedly shocked. It had been obvious all along that Apple was working on something that could compete with Intel's best chips, but neither company had expected it to succeed so dramatically with its first-generation Mac processor. Both companies had to put a brave face on it, of course, claiming that they would not only catch up with Apple, but also overtake it. Intel CEO Pert Gelsinger was under the delusional impression that the company could win back Apple's business. Apple decided they could do a better chip themselves than we could, Gelsinger said during an interview for Axios on HBO. And, you know, they did a pretty good job. So what I have to do is create a better chip than they can do themselves. I would hope to win back this piece of their business, as well as many other pieces of business, over time. Qualcomm seemed equally bullish on the mobile chip side. Qualcomm chief executive Cristiano Amorn told Reuters on Thursday he believes his company can have the best chip on the market, with help from a team of chip architects who formerly worked on the Apple chip but now work at Qualcomm. The Nuvia controversy. This is bullshit. You can't just hire people that admittedly have a lot of talent and a lot of knowledge to just build the chip and say like, okay, now we're done. Like, they have knowledge of that chip. <clears throat> and that's very valuable, right? Um, some people would even say that it's stealing. But hey, I'm not saying that. Don't send your lawyers to me, fam. <laughs> I'm not saying that, okay? <laughs> Other people are saying that. And I might agree. Uh, anyways, um... <laughs> What I'm trying to say here is that um, it's kind of like if I if I manage to, for example, uh, 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 make a better burger than the uh, um, the Big Mac, for example, right? The patty, the patty is better than anything else, right? So you you have the patty, that's great, but you need the rest of the burger. Otherwise, it's just not going to work. You need the recipe for the sauce. You need the rest. You need the, you need the, the bread. You need everything. You need everything because otherwise, you're not going to get the the, the customers to be interested in your burger. So you have a lot of uh, smash burger joints and all these other burger joints that have better uh, better quality or or or, or faster uh, burgers, faster burger. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, more delicious burgers. But nobody cares because it's just like McDonald's is the standard and a lot of people want whatever McDonald's is offering, right? So in, in, in order to be able to, to change that, you need to control the entire experience of that burger and not say like, oh yeah, I'm just, I don't know, fucking get some other sauce somewhere from something else because it, it, it just, it, it, it doesn't make sense if you want to eat into the uh, 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 what do you say? The target audience from McDonald's. These people are just waiting for a Big Mac, and you're offering them, uh, admittedly, maybe even a better uh, version of the Big Mac. But people don't care, right? Because the entire experience is still different. Because you don't uh, control the entire supply chain. You don't control the entire uh, finished product. And you're just sending your patties off to someone else and they have to do something with it uh, to, to make it make sense. And it's the same thing with these chips. You make a powerful chip, admittedly, it might even be more powerful and more power efficient than uh, uh, the M2. And if you're in time to, do, to release that uh, before the M3, it actually makes a, a little bit of sense. But if Microsoft then fucks, fucks it up, or some other hardware manufacturer just doesn't know what to do with it or doesn't build their device around that uh, chip, um, you're still going to run into problems. And then on top of that, you're not in control of the software that's running it, right? So I'm just saying that this, the performance of the, the entire experience is, is, could still be far worse than the M2. Because optimization, because control over the supply chain, because control over the finished product, the finished experience, everything around that um, is just way more important than just having a faster chip. So 
a lot of people say like oh this is great this is awesome and now we're finally going to be able to get back at apple and whatever not with just not not with just a chip you need more than that and i i don't see either qualcomm or microsoft doing that right now so anyways let's read a few of your comments um um dude literally these chips might be insane right but who is going to develop for them? Yeah, exactly. What developer is going to support it even if, if Microsoft doesn't even properly support it? Like, it's crazy. If you if you run um, Windows ARM right now, it's mental. Have you seen the emulation on, 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 on Windows? Like, uh, you guys are commenting on that as well. Uh, oh, here we go. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, exactly. Dude, uh, dude, their version of Rosetta sucks dick. It sucks absolute cock, dude. It's mental. Like I've never seen it. It's it's so bad. It's so bad. It it's it's literally like and I know that they just released or they are going to release Visual Studio um for ARM. But first of all, that's way too late. And second of all, um <laughs> it, like you need to get the developers to actually use it as well. Like how are you going to do that? Right? Like to have to make it make sense, you have to believe in it yourself. And to me, it doesn't feel like Microsoft believes in ARM any, like, not even a little bit. But anyways, uh, exactly, Microsoft isn't putting too much effort into their ARM ecosystem. No, not at all. So, so the question is, can they, can they be this slow with implementing ARM updates and dev kits, but still not, uh, but still have a powerful chip? Like for what? To open word, yeah. No, but like, just to, 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 I, I, I like your point because what's happening here is that someone is developing an, an insanely powerful chip to put into a device that the manufacturer, the OEM, uh, right now at least, doesn't seem to care about. It's an entire lineup that's already there, but nothing is happening. It's just there. It's being sold for, I don't know, maybe someone that needs it. I, it, it. I don't know, it's crazy. Anyways, uh, worse than that, Microsoft and Qualcomm <laughs> have been saying for years that Windows ARM is the best ARM solution. Ex exactly, for desktop operating systems, they've been selling that as the solution, right? They have exclusive contracts, backroom deals and whatever. This is the product and it has been sucking for years. So uh, anyways, uh, I don't believe them anymore. Show me and I believe you, exactly. Show me and I believe you. That's the same thing that I said to Intel as well. Like you can, you can, you can talk a lot of shit about like I'm going to win their business back and whatever. Um, we have bullshitters here in the Netherlands as well, like Martijn Snoop from uh, um, ACM, <laughs> that say a bunch of shit about uh, uh, problems that they are solving and whatever. Like recently, uh, ACM announced that they have solved a problem um, with uh, with Apple uh, that is I don't know misusing. Uh, some sort of power over the dating app market. <laughs> Can you believe it? Dude, it's mental. Anyways, uh, we have our own bullshitters, but this is on a whole nother level. This guy didn't even say... He, 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 he didn't just believe that he's going to win Apple's business back. He also said, and you know, they did a pretty good job. <laughs> pretty good job, yeah. Um, your your chip is burning through my leg, okay? It's it's literally burning through it. Like maybe in the winter, that's a feature. But we're getting into the summer right now. We need something normal, okay? Please. The Nuvia controversy. A controversial sequence of events did indeed give Qualcomm access to some very senior Apple Silicon engineers. Former A-Series chip lead Gerard Williams and two other former Apple chip execs left the company in 2019 to create a new chip company, Nuvia. The trio said at the time that they were planning to compete with Intel and AMD. Apple didn't believe them, and said their true intention was to force Apple to acquire the company, effectively buying back its own tech. That dispute was still unresolved when there was a fresh development earlier this year. Qualcomm bought Nuvia for $1.4 billion. That gave the chipmaker access to much of the expertise behind the development of Apple's M1 chip. Qualcomm will beat M2 chips, says CEO. 
CEO Cristiano Amon told CNET that the company now believed it could beat Apple in the PC market too. We're aiming to have performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period, Amon's <laughs> Sorry We're that. aiming to have performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period, Amon said in an interview last week. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be serious from now on. <laughs> We're aiming to have performance leadership in PC on the CPU, period, Amon said in an interview last week. Amon said he's thankful to Apple for driving the development of programs that work on ARM <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. Amon said he's thankful to Apple for driving the development of programs that work on ARM and noted that Microsoft's also on this journey. The timing is now because you needed a perfect alignment of stars, he said. He's banking on Nivea to give him an edge. Amon also claimed not to be concerned at the loss of Apple's modem business. Potentially impacting Qualcomm is the loss of one of its biggest customers, Apple. The iPhone maker is reportedly working on its own modem to pair with its custom A-series processors. Qualcomm laid out guidance last year that by 2023, its share of modems powering Apple devices would drop to 20%, and single digits after that. But Amon said Qualcomm is still seeing growth at the company, and whether Apple is ready to use its own modem isn't up to him. They know our number, they know where to find us, he said. Uh, that's a uh, that's a very inspirational. Uh, <clears throat> that's definitely a very inspirational quote there, and I feel like um, more competition is just good for the market, right? And um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move on. Um, this is a special request for um, uh, Katrina. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I can do this, boys. I don't know if I can. Do this. <laughs> oh, this is this is mental, fam. I have, um, I I have seen a lot of bullshit in my life, but this is crazy. I have, um, I I don't know what to say. I, I mean, we, we can we can discuss this a little bit, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, Amon said he is thankful, and that Apple uh, f to Apple for driving the development of programs that work on ARM, and noted that Microsoft's also on this journey. Yeah. Microsoft has been on that journey since fucking Windows 8, if I'm not mistaken. Or Windows RT, which is blowing my mind that it has been taking them so long to build anything serious in that space, right? And it is exclusively with your flipping company, Amon. And and nothing has happened. 
Why? Because this backroom fucking deal that you guys have has been holding back ARM and ARM uh, computing system and operating systems for years. And you have the fucking audacity to say that Microsoft, uh, with your thick flipping chip now, is going to make a difference or is going to be on that same journey. Apple single-handedly changed the entire operating system space on ARM forever. And that is the only, the single only reason why you're actually investing into this entire fucking space right now. And you're saying that you're thankful for this shit? Dude, you're, 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 actually, you're absolutely out of your goddamn mind. Like, you are 100% out of your goddamn mind. I'm just saying. This is the biggest joke I've heard in my entire life. You guys haven't done shit for ARM desktop ecosystems. Not shit. Nothing. Please.